Okay, so in the last video then we installed a, a, a new custom theme um, which we got for free from the website which I showed you. Um, now we are going to add pages. Now as you can see I've already gone ahead and added some pages. I've already put in some text here um, and I've taken away this banner here and I've added some stuff here. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that in the next video. Uh, this video I'm going to show you how I've done these pages. Okay, so we're in the, the dashboard in WordPress. Um, the left hand side here you've got pages, we'll click on that. Um, we we'll actually click all pages here, so we're in all pages now. Now, as you can see here, it says all pages and add new. You can do both. You can view all pages, or you can just add, get straight in and add one. Um, so we're looking at all our pages at the moment. Um, now, if I wanted to click on one of these pages, so I'm going to click on food and recipes. I'm going to click on that. It's gone through, and it's now at the page um, for um, food and recipes. Now, I've added on here food and recipes to some content. Obviously, you put in a lot more content in here. Eventually, there'll be loads of food, recipes, um, pictures, maybe some video, audio, all those things we can add in later. And I'm going to show you how to do that in the, f in the future videos. Um, but for now, I'm just going to put food and recipes in here. Now, if I wanted to update something in here and, and, and put down here, um, I hope you like this. Something, something like that. Um, basically, more content. I'll just click update here to the right hand side, and it would update what I've already put in here. And this is a great way. And this just shows you how powerful um, WordPress is. Um, it's a, it's a fantastic uh, content management system. Imagine if you built this website. Um, as HTML or all code, you'd have to go in, you'd have to change something, you'd have to upload it, you'd have to go through all that hassle. With a content management system such as WordPress, you can do it in an instant. That has now updated that and it's live and it's working. Now we're going to add a page, so we're going to add a new page. I'm going to click Add New to the left hand side here under Pages. I've just clicked Add New um, and I'm going to call it News. And I'm going to put This is the News page. Now obviously this will have a lot of content in here eventually but I'm just showing you for demonstration purposes at the moment. So to the right hand side here I'm going to click publish if you can see here publish. Now also it's worth pointing out you can also preview um, preview what you've done. If you didn't want to publish it straight away you want to preview it first you can do that. Um, I'm happy just to publish it. I mean obviously when you've got lots of content, lots of images maybe some video you'd want to see a preview first, check it all lined up before you put it out there. Especially if you've got a huge following um, who may even have an RSS feed directly to your website. They may be on to your website as soon as you upload new content um, which is where you want to be really um, so you'd want to preview changes before you updated it in case you made loads of mistakes or something um, and everyone could see it before you noticed it so it's always good to preview changes um, ok so now if we go to the WordPress website and if I refresh this page oh hang on a second we've already got a news page um, I just want to show you for um, demonstration purposes so I'm going to put news1 just so you can see this being uploaded and I'm going to update to the right hand side here so that's just updated that now, or it is updating it. Now, if I go through to the WordPress website and I can, if I refresh the page, Control F5 on the PC. Now, nothing's happened. You haven't got News One on there. That's not on there. Now, I'll tell you why that is. Because in this particular theme, and in most themes these days, to the left-hand side here under Appearance, you have what they call menus. So you click on menus. Now you have opportunity now to. Um, play around with your menu. Now if you see here this is our menu which we've got already. You can have more than one menu and some themes. Some themes allow you, this particular theme allows you to do that as well. However we're just going to stick with the one menu. Um, also it's a good point to point out now um, is some themes don't have this option. Um, it's very rare these days um, with the new themes that are coming out but the themes that don't have it um, usually just upload the page straight to the navigation bar. Um, so if you come across a theme you may not, you may have just refreshed your page um, if you're following along with a different theme and it may have turned up in the right place. In that case you probably don't have this feature but it might be worth having a quick look to see if you do because it doesn't just um, have the option of adding the pages, it also allows you to rearrange them. So for example I can put food and recipes up one um, if I want to change it I want it to come before there in the menu I can put news here or I can even remove news. So we'll remove news and we'll click save menu so I've just removed news, so news won't be there now 
on our on our menu if we look at our menu um, and we put uh, we put blog last as well okay um, something else to point out to you is medical disclaimer is currently under home and it's off centered it's not lined up that means it's underneath home so if we go and have a look at that so I've just saved the menu we're going to go into a WordPress website we're going to refresh the page and I'm going to show you what this is so you can see that home is then underneath home medical disclaimers underneath the home as as I just said so that's how that works um so if you wanted to have all of these under one parent category you can um and it will align the rest underneath for you um so that's a pretty cool feature you can do that in seconds um another great way of doing this is to um or another feature rather um is to add a page onto our menu. Now sometimes it's worth just clicking view all because sometimes it needs to update pages. So we've got a couple here. Um, oh no, we've got one. We're going to add, we'll put both. We'll put news and news one in. So if you click both of those and click add to menu, you just check the box there, you're then in the menu. And we can we can um, arrange these however we like. So it might be quite cool if we put that off center so then it's underneath that. So if we click save, go back to our WordPress website, control F5 or refresh we're now refreshed and news is there and news one is underneath as we had it so that's how easy it is and that's how powerful this CMS system is um, and there's so much more we're going to do with this and it's so easy um, it's all as easy as that pretty much so next we're going to look at categories and we're going to look at posts um, they're both um, slightly different from pages um, for example the blog is actually a category um, I'm going to show you in the next video why it is and wh what we do within the categories um, and you can kind of use either you can either use categories so these could be categories rather than pages um, and then you'd post into a category um, or you can have pages like I've done here but I'll tell you more about that in the next video